Hey, hey guys, what's up? It's your girl Eva here. And did you click on this video because your Audible was not syncing across other devices? Well, you've come to the right spot because I will show you how to fix that. The thing is there's an existing problem when the Audible books are not syncing the playback position across other devices. It can be a really tedious and frustrating thing to go back and forth across other devices. Anyways, without further ado, there's a solution to this problem. So let's just dive into the steps. So we, there's this thing called Whisper Sync for voice that allows listeners to sync their positions on audiobooks across several devices. So make sure that this feature is enabled at all times audible. So to verify that the Whisper Sync for voice feature is enabled, you need to go to the Amazon page, manage your content and devices. You sign in with your Amazon Audible account and click on the Preference tab. You then select the Device Synchronization. You then just confirm that the feature is on. But in order to sync audiobooks on iOS and on Android, this is what you'll have to do. You launch Audible on any device that you want and go to your Profile tab. You then choose the gear icon and then Player. You toggle the sync device position switch off and then on again. After you do that, you go to the library section and swipe down on the audible screen till you see the spinning arrow. You release to refresh the library and da-da, all your audiobooks are synced across all devices. There you guys go. And what if none of this works and you have no solution whatsoever at this point? Well. I've got some good news for you, buddy, because I've got some other methods up my sleeve and I will share them in this video. So keep on watching, guys. Solution number one is to check to see if you have a stable wireless network connection. The sync and the downloading process of the Audible books might not happen if the device is not connected to a good internet connection. So make sure you do have a good one. Solution number two is to try to manually sync Audible books to iOS devices. So the way to do this is the following. You connect your iOS device with your computer by using a USB cable. You then launch iTunes and click on the device icon. You put a check mark on the manually managed music and videos option and disable the option sync only check songs and videos and tap on apply. You then start a manual transfer and click on the book icon on the iTunes main screen. If you don't see the book icon, which may happen, you then click on the up and down arrows and you'll see it right over there. You then navigate to the library and then onto audiobooks and drag the audiobook cover to your device icon to the left. Last but not least, you click on the device icon and then on eject. Solution number three is to try to convert and transfer Audible books to other devices. So all you need to do is download the Audible books from your computer, transfer them to a phone, speaker, tablet, or MP3 player, and play the audiobook with any media player. The thing is, you'll need to convert Audible books in AA or AAX formats to a standard format such as MP3. The last solution is to try to reinstall the Audible app. Uh, you just delete the Audible app from your device and then go to the App Store or Google Play Store to download the latest version of the app. And that's it for today's video, guys. Smash like if you like this video. Uh, comment down below. Uh, give me some ideas on what to do next. Uh, if you have any issues with other things, I can make a video about that. Subscribe if you haven't already. If you're new to this channel, hello. If this is your first time watching one of my videos, welcome. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.